let's finally get these things done. Um, a lot of you guys are asking me why I use Nuke for compositing, uh, why it's not a Blender or After Effects. Uh, this is because of one reason, which we'll find it in just a minute. I don't render this uh, tutorial scene again, so please keep in mind that your render scene and mine might not be the same, but the uh, uh, workflows are the same. So let's get started. And before we open up Nuke, there's three things that we have to set up. Uh, number one is open the render scene. I, I forgot to fold this plane along this wall, otherwise there is no uh, geometry to cast shadow from Nuke. Okay, now let's export this camera and the plane. Uh, we need to export this camera because we need the exact movement of this camera that we uh, animated previously. Now go to the file, export and choose the Alembic ABC format. Uh, this will export the geometry as well as all the animation within this geometry itself. Make sure your start and end frame match our project file. In our case, we start from 1 and ends at 178. Um, Make sure you check this select objects only and then hit the export button. Number two, go to compositing tab and enable this use node. Get rid of this layer node and add image instead. Locate your render folder and select all the frames and import it here. Now connect this combined output to the compositing input. Um, this view is just for the viewing purpose. Change the output format from OpenEXR to PNG or JPG and render this animation. You don't have to go through this step too if you simply tick this checkbox in the first place. Uh, I should have mentioned this in part 7, but I don't. My bad. You might say, can we take the combined passes in Nuke? Yes, we can, but it comes with one problem, which you'll see in a bit. And the third thing that we have to do is uh, set up the crypto mat. Click on the link in the description and it will, uh, it will land it here in this page. Um, click on this clone and download the zip file. Once you've downloaded this file, then extract it here. Go to CryptoMat Master and then Nuke. Select all and copy that. Now go to local disk C, user, your PC name, and then Nuke. Just paste it here, then we are good to go. Now open your Nuke. Uh, you can use Nuke uh, non-commercial version, which is completely free as long as you don't use it for commercial purpose. When you open Nuke for the first time, then it will look something like this. Uh, first, we need to set up the project settings by hitting S on your keyboard. Uh, change this full size format from 2K to our rendered frame dimension by making new one. Just name it to something like uh, VFX or whatever. Change the width to 1920 and height to 824 and click on this OK button. Now we have to import our rendered frame into this node graph. You can right click image and read or simply just hit R to directly go to the render node. Locate your render frames and import these two files EXR and JPG. Your render might be PNG but it's still the same. So we are good to go. You can preview every node by hitting 1 or 2 on your keyboard. We can see that there's nothing to show if I preview this EXR. First we have to extract exactly what passes that we want to preview. And to do this we're going to use a shuffle node. So press tab and type shuffle. Now if I change in one from RGBA to compositing combine, we can see beauty render. But as we see from here, the render looks a bit darker. This way we render the beauty pass from Blender. Now let's import our plane and camera as well. To do that, we're going to need the read geo nodes. Locate the folder where you export the ABC file and select that and choose this create all in one node. Let's see what's happening here. Press 1 while selecting this read geo node. Here we can see our camera and the plane. Use Alt plus right mouse button to orbit around our scene and Alt plus left mouse button to pan around and scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Now we need a node uh, that can merge this 3D data and 2D render image together which can be achieved by this scanline renderer. Simply connect BG to our render image and object or scene to the plane and final camera to our Blender camera. Now let's see what do we get. Uh, we see there's a big white plane in front of us and if I connect let's say checkerboard to this image socket, we see there's a checkerboard instead of simply solid white texture. Now import our key out footage here and use it instead of this uh, checker pattern. 
to clarify what this BD pipe is doing here in this scene, I'll use this checkerboard instead of the render frame. Now I think it's pretty clear what all this node does, right? Okay, let's connect this one instead of the checkerboard. And when I scrub through the timeline, I can see that the key out footage maintains the exact same camera movement. Uh, this is because let's see from the 3D. We can see that our camera moves and the plane remains here, which is exactly how we render from Blender. Now we can see there's something really strange going on in this um, semi-transparent area. We can fix this by using pre-multiply node. Simply hook this between these two nodes and now it's gone. Now let's bring the table to the front and to do that we're gonna need a mask to cut out the table. This is why we render the crypto mat from Blender. Simply type crypto mat and connect with the EXR. And when I preview this node, we can see there's a random color assigned to different objects. We can select any color and mask those objects precisely. Now select this speaker at and while holding control, left click on anything which has to be in front of our character. And once we have done that, enable this matte only checkbox. And now it turns black and white. So we're going to use this white color uh, to mask the table and add it in front of the character. And to do that, we're going to need merge node. So if I connect this B pipe to our render frames and use crypto mask as the mask, we see this one, which is the opposite of what we want. So let's revert this order. Now we can kind of see the table on the front, uh, but not completely. This is because the result that we see from the crypto mat output is not pure white. And we have to fix that. But before I do that, I have to turn this auto alpha checkbox. Now let's add color correct nodes to this output. Let's change the channel from RGB to alpha. Since, the, since it's the alpha that we're gonna mess around, simply slide this mid-tone offset to the right, which will increase the white value from our alpha channel, meaning that semi-transparent alpha becomes completely white which will mask out the table completely from our background and put it in the foreground. Okay, cool. Now we can see there's a bit of noise from our green screen. So simply move this footage a bit to the left and we're gonna use transform node to do that. I'll move negative 50 units to the left. This will shift our keyout footage to the lighter area so we, don't, we can't see the noise anymore. Now it looks okay. But I have to blend the footage and the CG a bit more. So I'll add this color correct notes here and tweak the settings a bit. And one thing I really love about new color correction note is that we can add any color to all these sliders. So I'll add a bit of greenish tint uh, to this gain controller and uh, tweak the gain a bit to blend with the CG a bit more. Okay, now when you're happy with the result, add one more note to render your final image, which is this right note. Decide where you want to render the final output and type this uh, hashtag three times at the end of your output name. This is because we're going to render image sequence and if you don't add this hashtag, then you will going to render only one frames and finally the file format that you want to export to. Now hit render. Okay, now we're finally done with this course and it took me a bit longer than I expected because of the um, other ongoing project. I really hope this little course helped you understanding the whole process of um, blending CG with real world and and one thing I have prepared another scene that will help you understand even more uh, when blending with the CG. I'll release that soon. And if you like this type of content, uh, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the like button if you do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.